Keeping Busy, Not Keeping Busy, from Satan Speaks by Anton LaVey. Most people have developed the practice of indolence into a fine art. It is the closest they will ever come to perfecting a skill. As society increasingly encourages and rewards underachievers, incompetence becomes pragmatic. The uses of ineptitude are many and sure to make life simpler with less effort than a display of aptitude. A fine display of competence can be affected, however, while still maintaining one's ineptitude. Marvels of technology have provided awesome means by which adult may appear gifted. By these devices, brains and talent have become purchasable commodities, much easier to come by than anything else. The supreme irony of all this is that it is easier for a naturally incompetent fool to purchase devices by which he might display great ability than it is for a naturally gifted or accomplished person to acquire proficiency in uselessness. It may take more effort and ability to be truly capable, but in order to be present in a convincing appearance of wit, wisdom, or ability, all it takes is the price of the right device. If you are, by nature, industrious, you will feel guilty not doing something worthwhile. Chances are, if you are that way, you have already accomplished more in life than you realize. It may be time to rest on your laurels. In our non-productive world, less is more. If you've put in your time, you should feel no guilt at performing useless tasks. Others perform them all the time and have never, ever been useful for a brief period of their lives. Think of yourself as just making up for lost time. A good habit to get into is an awareness that there are no disappointments in life, only relief. Playing the ineptitude game requires the ability to get off the hook. Thus, accept any rejection or refusal as a means to avoid further refunds responsibility. Rather than mope about and feel insecure, rejoice that you have succeeded in eluding responsibility. Think of every act as a potential call to jury duty. Learn to rejoice at rejection. When an occasion dictates an appearance of activity on your part, go through the motions. I don't mean go through the motions. It is not even necessary to adhere to the certain expected movements. Any movement will do. Any kinetic accomplishment, you will be considered a great worker if you keep moving. Movement, movement connotes effort. Without movement, things seem effortless. If you can't move a lot, get your surroundings to move for you, like a circus ringmaster. Have lots of acts going on around you. A child chattering away, an animal jumping around, etc. Gesture occasionally. Build a big frame around wherever you don't do. Your first impulse is to emphasize what you actually do. It's easier to emphasize what you don't do. Utilize time spent by yourself to do nothing while concocting elaborately furtive activities to reveal to others. Or better yet, simply allude to essential distractions. Excuse yourself when your laboratory calls, for there is much important work to be done. Never apologize for neglecting another. Always present an image of the old floor walker. Yes, what can I do to help you? Stop breathing on my carnation. Make others feel like nuisances that they really are. The best way to be somebody is to do less. Thank you for listening. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below. If you would like to help out monetarily, you can do so in the following ways. First of all, you can check out my Ko-Fi at ko-fi.com slash Casanova. That is C-A-S-S-N-O-N-O-V-A. The second way is my subscription service at Patreon, where you can get all my output early and weekly exclusive goodies for you. Tiers start at $1 and can be found at patreon.com slash Casanova. That is C-A-S-S. -S
Oh.